We've managed to find 10 uh, gateways to hell here on Earth. And we're here to share them with you today so you can either seek them out or avoid them at all costs. It's gonna be a hell of a good time. It's the best I could come up with. The ancient doorway to the underworld. Uh, we're starting off with an area that was believed to be an entrance to the underworld back in ancient times. The gateway was a cave that sat in the city of Heriopolis, which is now in modern day Turkey. Here, rituals to the god Pluto, ruler of the underworld, were practiced. Deadly fumes were emitted from the cave. Anything that went in never came out alive. Even birds flying overhead were said to plummet to their deaths. One ancient Greek philosopher named Strabo wrote, The space is full of a vapor so misty and dense that one can scarcely see the ground. Any animal that passes inside meets instant death. I threw in sparrows, and they immediately breathed their last and fell. For a long time, historians believed that Pluto's gate was just a myth, a legend, at least the part about the cave being a deadly passage between worlds. But turns out that this place really does exist. In 2013, Italian archaeologists followed the route of a thermal spring and arrived at a cave in a town in southwestern Turkey, which is very much deadly. It emits high concentrations of carbon dioxide in the air, which can kill you if you're in one of the denser areas. And all that toxic air tends to pool towards the ground, which is why a lot of animals would die walking in here. Next up on our list today, we have Hekla Volcano located in southern Iceland, and of course, believed to be a gateway to hell. Hekla is an active volcano filled with fiery pools of lava that give it a dramatic, fiery flair. But of course, if that was all it took to be considered a gateway to hell, all active volcanoes would have made this list. But they don't. And that's because along with the fire and brimstone, sulfur and lava, there are also records kept by ancient monks that support the theory of this particular volcano being a gateway to the underworld. In their writings, monks claimed that the volcano was a doorway to the inferno, as well as the eternal resting prison of Judas, who many believe, and the Pope's magistrate confirmed, is now trapped in hell. In its recorded lifetime, Helka volcano has erupted more than 20 times, and on many occasions, witnesses claim to have seen the souls of the damned soaring above the volcano as it spits out fiery lava, hot ash, and smoke. Mount Osore is one of Japan's most sacred places. Osore Zen translates to Fear Mountain. And it's not hard to see how it gets its name. There's real beauty here, like in many parts of Japan, but the barren volcanic landscape is definitely eerie. There's something about the place that just looks dead, and that's why the area was often compared to the Buddhist description of hell. This is also a place where the dead are said to be able to communicate with the living. Throughout Ososoran, you'll find numerous statues of Jizo, a guardian deity whose statues are often surrounded by piles of stones and pebbles. Parents of deceased young ones leave these stones as offerings to Jizo, hoping he will use them to help their loved ones reach paradise. Brightly colored toy windmills are another common sight left behind by grieving parents. There's also the annual Bodaji festival where people looking to communicate with their deceased loved ones can speak with Itako, blind women who have undergone rigorous spiritual training to become mediums. They perform intense rituals for three months leading up to the festival and enter into deep trances in order to communicate with the dead during the event. Next on our list, we have the Cape Matapan Caves located in Tenerum, Greece. The entrance to the caves rests on top of a cliff face and leads to a deep network of tunnels, many of which have not yet been explored, probably because of the fact that any living person would have needed to turn back long before reaching their destination of the underworld. According to Greek mythology, however, there has been a successful attempt at finding Hades' underworld inside of the caves. It is believed that together Orpheus and Hercules braved the dark twists and turns of the cave in order to retrieve Eurydice, Orpheus's wife, from the depths of hell. If you are ever hanging out in Tenarum, Greece, and would like to attempt the journey yourself, which I highly recommend against, the entrance of the cave can be found next to the ruins of the Spartan Temple, which are said to be sitting directly above the Grecian gates of hell. Off to Indonesia now, we have Mount Merapi. Mount Merapi 
not be translated to Fire Mountain, is one of the scariest volcanoes on Earth. This volcano is infamous for its frequent and deadly eruptions. The eruptions are no joke, spewing out hot gases, ash, and of course the star of the show, lava. A river of molten rock and toxic gas racing down the side of the mountain, destroying everything in its path. That's what locals are under constant threat of. One of the worst eruptions happened in 2010. It was an absolute nightmare. Over 350,000 people had to flee their homes and 353 people lost their lives. Bodies were even found on the slopes of the volcano. There were of course also injuries with people suffering severe burns. There were multiple eruptions that unleashed Cryoclastic flows, which is this deadly mix of rock fragments, gas, and ash that travels rapidly, faster than a speeding car. These flows can incinerate anything and anyone caught in their path. Every couple years or so, there are small eruptions here, and around every 10 to 15, there are bigger ones. So, living near this mountain is a bit of a gamble. The volcano's ash makes the soil great for farming. But the constant threat of eruptions means people have to be ready to evacuate their homes at a moment's notice. Next up, we have not just one or two or even three, but the seven gates of hell located in York County, Pennsylvania. They are, well at least one, are legitimate physical gates located in the northwestern part of Hellam Township in the county in a wooded area off of Trout Run, which is a small body of water used as a nursery for young trout. But let's get back to the hot topic, hell. While no one knows the exact way in which the gates came to be, the most popular theory among locals is that they are the result of a failed mental institution on the grounds that existed hundreds of years ago. It is said that the patients staying there were incredibly troubled and horribly treated. And then one day a fire broke out in the asylum and it burnt to the ground along with the majority of the patients. Some escaped, but they might have wished they hadn't because those who did and were found were beaten to death on the grounds. After the fire, the gates were put up by a local search party to trap any remaining patients of the asylum. Because of the atrocities that led to the gates existence and the fire, they are now believed to be the seven gates of hell. Only one can be seen during the day, but the other six become visible at night. It is believed that anyone who goes through the fifth gate will never be seen again, and that anyone who manages to go through all seven will have a first class express ticket right on down to hell. Next up we have Death Valley in Russia. If you were to come across certain parts of this place without knowing anything about it, you'd probably think hell was spewing up from the ground. Parts of the place look totally otherworldly. You can find the valley in the Kamchatka Peninsula, a remote rugged region in the far east side of Russia. This valley, which is sometimes referred to as the Valley of Death, has earned its name because it's a place where animals and sometimes even people mysteriously drop dead. The main culprit here is toxic gases, so it's really not much of a mystery. The valley is situated near a bunch of active volcanoes, and these volcanoes release deadly gases like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. These gases can accumulate in low-lying areas of the valley, creating invisible but very lethal pockets of air. And the valley looks beautiful, great lush green scenery, but then there are all the animal carcasses scattered about. Animals that have come into the valley stayed for too long, breathing in all this toxic gas, and then they drop dead. And scientists who have spent time here will often experience dizziness, nauseousness, or difficulty breathing when they wander into the wrong spots. And the worst cases, people have even been found dead. Next on our list today, we have the entrance to the Mayan underworld, which is said to be in the Acton Tanakil Maknal Mountain, inside of a cave known as the Crystal Sepulchre, located in Belize. The Mayan version of hell is referred to as Zibalba, and it is believed to be a terrifying labyrinth filled with rivers of BLOD, along with large scorpions and, am I missing anything? 
Oh yeah, a crap ton of demons. Zubaba is ruled by 12 lords of death, with two being in charge of the realm, while the remaining 10 work in pairs to cause sickness, starvation, fear, destitution, pain, and untimely death to the Mayan population. While the cave entrance does look stunning, you might want to think twice before taking a step inside. Next we head to Ireland with St. Patrick's Purgatory. There are a lot of myths and legends surrounding St. Patrick's Purgatory on Station Island. It's an ancient place of pilgrimage that dates back to the early Christian era. The story goes that St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, received a vision from God revealing that Station Island was the entrance to purgatory, a place where souls are purified before entering heaven. But some believe that this purgatory is actually a gateway to the other place where sinners are condemned to eternal torment. During the Middle Ages, stories about the terrifying experiences of those who ventured into St. Patrick's Purgatory began to spread. Pilgrims claimed to have encountered demons during their spiritual journeys on the island, which was not what they were looking for. Today, St. Patrick's Purgatory is still a site of pilgrimage though, where for three days, visitors come and sleep in dormitory rooms barefoot and pray at various sites on the island. And finally, to finish off our list today, we have Lacus Curtius, yet another gateway to hell. That's why it's on this list. Located in Rome, Italy. Now, whether you have or have not been to Rome, I would bet that the vast majority of you have no idea that located within the famous city is a pit called Lacus Curtius that is believed to be the one true gateway to hell. It is believed that in ancient times, in the place where the gateway lies, a chasm to hell opened up within the city. An oracle foretold of its opening and Rome's doom unless its citizens sacrificed what was dearest to the city down into the underworld. In a heroic act, a soldier named Marcus Curtius charged into the chasm after realizing that the most important thing to Rome was the Roman army. He saved the city and its people and so so even though he now rests in hell, he is regarded as one of the most selfless men to have ever lived. If you like that video, give me a hell yeah! Hell That's my yeah! Stone cold, uh, hell answer. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you like this uh, hellish episode of uh, Most Amazing Top Ten. Yeah, if you've been to hell, let us know. Yeah, if please do. If you're the devil, let us know twice. <laughs> I like it. I've been your host, James. I've been your host, Hannah. Catch you next time.